Good day, grade 2. Today, we're going to talk about a lesson that will surely be helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Dividing Numbers by 2, 5, and 10. And to start, we'll have our story time. Neil just came home from his trip in Guimaras, an island in the Philippines known for its delicious mango products. He brought home 12 pieces of ripe mangoes to share equally among his friends. If he has two friends, how many mangoes will each one receive? Now, Neil brought 12 mangoes as pasalubong for his friends. He will divide the mangoes equally for his two friends. Now, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Neil was able to make two groups of six mangoes. Therefore, 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Each friend will receive six mangoes. We may also use a number line to know the quotient of a division sentence. 12 divided by 2 is equal 6. So starting from 12, we go two lines back to 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0. Using the skip counting by 2's until we reach 0, the number of skips from 12 is the quotient. Now let's have another example. Rhea has 14 colored pencils and 2 pencil holders. She would like to place them there equally. How many pencils will each O holder have? Now, we are going to make two groups from these pencils and each group should have an equal number. So let's start. The first group has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 pencils. And the second group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 pencils in each group. 7 pencils should be inside each pencil holder. So 7 for here, 7 for here as well. 14 divided by 2 is equals 7. We may also use a number line to know the quotient of a division sentence. Again, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So starting from 14, we go to 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and 0. Using the skip counting by 2's until we reach 0, the number of skips from 14 is the quotient. This time, let's try to divide numbers by 5. There are 15 sunflowers and 5 flower pots. How many flowers should be in each flower pot? Now, we're going to group these sunflowers this way. 3 for this group. 3 again for this pot. 3 for this pot. 3 for this pot, and 3 for this pot. Now, each pot got 3 flowers. So, 15 divided by 5 equals 3. We may also use a number line again to know the quotient of a division sentence. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So, starting from 15, we go 5 lines back to 10, 5, and 0. Using the skip counting by 5s until we reach 0, the number of skips from 15 is the quotient. Now, there are 25 fishes and 5 aquariums. Each aquarium should have an equal number of fish in it. How many fishes should be put inside each of them? Now, let us group the fishes equally for the 5 aquariums. We have here 5 in each group, 5 in this group, 5 in this group, 5 in this group, and 5 in this group. Now, each aquarium will get five fishes each. So, we have five for this aquarium, five again for this aquarium, five for this, five for this, and five for this. So, you may now say, 25 divided by 5 is equals 5. We may also use a number line to know the quotient of a division sentence. Again, 25 divided by 5 is 5. So starting from 25, we go 5 lines back to 20, 15, 10, 5, and 0. Using the skip counting by 5s until we reach 0, the number of skips from 25 is the quotient. This time, let's try to divide numbers by 10. There are 50 bells. 
Let us divide the bells in 10. How many groups there will be? If we divide 50 bells by 10, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 50 divided by 10 is equals 5. We may also use a number line to know the quotient of a division sentence. Again, 50 divided by 10 is equals 5. So starting from 50, we go to 40, 30, 20, 10, and 0. Using the skip counting by 10s until we reach 0, the number of skips from 50 is the quotient. Now there are 70 stars. Let us divide the stars in 10. How many groups there will be? So, we have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, if we divide 70 stars by 10, we will have 7 groups. So, we have here now, 70 divided by 10 is 7. We may also use again a number line to know the quotient of a division sentence. So we have here 70 divided by 10 is 7. So coming from 70, we go to 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and 0. So using the skip counting by 10s until we reach 0, the number of skips from 70 is the quotient. Good job, my dear grade 2. Now you already know how to divide numbers by 2, 5, and 10. Great job!